Eric Engels. Hi, Luke. Um, obviously, on the road, you don't have the advantage of the matchups in your favor. But what, if anything, can you guys do to make the adjustments to be able to get Suzuki potentially freed up from from Braden Point and to get obviously Dano uh, away from the Annie Gord line? Yeah, there, there's not much to do, and uh, other than maybe icings. But uh, you know, we'll, we'll try and you know uh, change the order. You know, at, at times during the game, just to uh, shake things up, but. Um, you know, I mean, uh, you are on the road. You got to compete in the playoffs, no matter who you're against, and uh, just limit our mistakes, and we'll be fine. Next question, JF Shaman. Good evening, Luke. Uh, when we think about the Tampa Bay Lightning, quite often we're going to talk about how good they are offensively. But what's the challenge of facing that team defensively? They have pretty big defensemen also. Yeah, they had good gaps tonight, and uh, they back pressured hard. So you know they're they're always known as an offensive team, or we refer them to that. But uh, they they do that by coming back hard and uh, uh, you know capitalizing on turnovers and and forcing you to turn pucks over in tough areas like we did uh, on the first three goals. And uh, you know, I mean, that's that's where they can create their offense uh, from that. So it's a credit on their de defense to translate into offense for themselves. Next is Guillaume Lafrancois. Um, hi, Luke. Can you uh, can you take us through the, the decision made, making regarding uh, your alarm yet tonight, and, uh, uh, and and what did you think of Jake in his uh, return? Yeah, no, I think uh, you know the decision was made uh, with the organization and, and the coaching staff that uh, you know Joel has obviously been uh, you know sitting at home for a few days without skating. And, uh, you know, there's, I'm sure there's uh, lots of nerves going on with what's going on in, in the protocols with uh, uh, the testing and all that. So we just felt that uh, mind frame flying down today, this afternoon, that it would be better for to get him on the ice for a warm up, get the blood flowing. Uh, Jake has been cleared to play and um, that's, that was our decision on that. And Jake played well. We thought he played very heads up hockey, you know, he, he uh, he contributed on the PK and, um, you know, I thought he fit in well with that uh, uh, line with uh, Perry and Stahl and uh, created some off offensive uh, cycling just like uh, Joel would. So uh, I thought it worked out okay. Next, Chantel McAvee. Thank you. Hello, Luke. Uh, what part of the game do you feel that your guys going to need to clean up for uh, next game? Yeah, Chantel, I think that's the key for us. Is it's going to be the puck management, especially around the offensive blue line for us, where we turned a few pucks over tonight, and, and especially when you got uh, their their big two lines out there, you can't do that against that team. They're going to counter quick, like they did tonight, and make you pay. So uh, we got to just clean up our puck management, making sure we're laying pucks in behind them, and get to back to the forecheck that we do well, and create some more ozone time for ourselves. Next up, Arpan Basu. Uh, hey, Luke, I um, wanted to ask you about the puck management thing, because I think on a couple of those, they came as a result of you guys trying to create an offensive play in the offensive zone, right? I mean, you're making a pass in the middle of the ice, you're trying to score a goal, you're on the offensive zone, it seems like not a bad thing to do. Where do you balance the puck management side of it, the caution with the puck, especially when their big lines are out there, and the desire to try and create offense when you're in the offensive zone? Yeah, I think it's uh, a good question. I think uh, it was you, you, a couple of the plays that we made laterally, we were standing still. We got to have that motion and our speed going on the rush and, and laying pucks through triangles if we're doing that to another player uh, into the middle of the ice uh, where we, we have motion going forward and that puck is going forward. We can't be standing still and make a lateral puck because they're tracking hard and they have good gaps and they have great, obviously, high eye hand coordination with their skill uh, and their sticks. So, uh, you know, it led to turnovers. So, you know, we need to make sure that if they're staying up on us, we lay pucks in behind them for that speed in the middle to go get it. And, um, you know, it limits the the turnovers when we're standing still and, and uh, you know, track back 180 feet or whatever it is back to our net. And behind them, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to uh, fare out well for us. So we got to make sure that's that's what we want to do. If we can't uh, make a play with speed on the rush, we got to put pucks in behind those Ds and go to work there. Two more for coach. Next up, Dan Robertson. Luke, it's the biggest stage of all. Did you get the sense that there were any nerves, I guess, especially among some of your younger players tonight? 
Oh, I'm sure there was. The rink was buzzing, and, and that's something that we will get over, and uh, we'll be a little bit more used to next game. And I think, you know, maybe just the strike early for us will be key next game to try and weather that storm and quiet the building a little bit and uh, let us get our rhythm going. So, uh, you know, definitely, you know, it's always a big stage and lots going on. And I thought we started out okay, but uh, we just were a little bit sloppy with the puck tonight. So uh, that's something we can clean up and, and get better at. Two more. Next up, Stu Cowan. Luke, is there a positive you can take out of tonight's game? Well, yeah, Stu, the positive is we didn't play our best game. So uh, we know we can get better. Um, you know, I think, I think they're always a, a talented team that, that plays well and, and definitely creates off uh, mistakes that you make. So by us playing better and managing the puck better and maybe limiting those mistakes and uh, creating a little bit more ourselves, I think we have a, a good way to go up. Uh, and uh, that's going to be the positive out of it. Last question, Mark Antoine Godin. Thank you. Uh, hi, Luke. Do you, do you sense as though the uh, the uh, Goudreau, Gord, and Coleman line uh, offers something or or presents something to you guys that's different than any other line that you had faced in the first three rounds? Uh, they're they're a good line. They skate well. Uh, they're tenacious. Like they they finish their checks. So they're going to be a hard line to play against. You know. I, You'd probably maybe compare it to like Phil's line, uh, you know, Phil and, and uh, Leckie and Galley, they, they're hard, you know, they're hard to play against, you know, tonight maybe wasn't our best game overall as a team, but, uh, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a challenge because they're a deep team, you know, I mean, uh, that is a good line, uh, they have their, their first good uh, two lines and then their fourth line has got speed, they got size. Uh, they've got a little bit of everything out there. So, you know, we just got to be better. Uh, we know we can play better. And uh, that's a good, a good point that we're going to key on and, and move forward to the next game. Thank you for your time, Coach. Thank you. Merci.